Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and all my videos are directly referenced from internationally accepted US National Medical Library so you can trust the information given in my videos. So today, I'm going to talk about hangovers. Yes. The weakness, the fatigue, thirst, the nausea, vomiting, headache, stomach pain, dizziness, shakiness, decreased ability to concentrate, you know, the mood disturbances, the depression, anxiety, irritability, increased heart rate, all these things which you experience, many of these things which you experience the next day when you drink a lot. Hangovers. Why they happen? why some of you might have hangovers some don't right how can you prevent them right all these things we'll see today in this video so don't go anywhere if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos All of you, most of you must have experienced a hangover, right? So hangover is basically the unpleasant symptoms, signs which we have after drinking too much alcohol and it's not about just feeling bad. It's not about the symptoms. It's about performance. What happens is because of these hangovers, your performance can become poor and there might be some conflicts at your work, right? So what happens? Generally, the more you drink, the more likely you are to have a hangover the next day. But there is no magic formula to tell how much you can drink safely and still avoid hangovers. However, the good news is that howsoever unpleasant most hangovers will go away on their own but still they can last up to 24 hours right so if you want to drink if you choose to drink do so responsibly and that can actually help you avoid future hangovers if you have very serious confusions a lot of vomiting seizures right if you have slow breathing irregular uh, breathing if you have bluish or uh, discoloration pale whitish discoloration of your skin if you have very low uh, body temperature right and if you actually pass out if you are unconscious if you are uh, someone close friend is unconscious then that is the situation all these situations you should rush to a hospital emergency right so it is important if somebody is unconscious or cannot be awakened is always there is always a risk of problem risk of dying right so it's not necessary that it will definitely happen but risk is there so that's why going to an emergency is a good option so if you suspect that someone has acute alcohol poisoning even if you don't see the classical signs and symptoms still seek medical care that's important so today we're going to understand how alcohol causes hangovers how that happens see obviously too much alcohol is causing hangovers but sometimes a single alcohol drink can also trigger hangovers for some people who are very sensitive so that's why sensitivity differs right and some people might actually escape hangovers even after drinking heavily so what are the factors which actually lead to these hangovers? See, first of all, alcohol causes your body to produce more urine. It has a diuretic effect. So in that way, urination will again lead to water loss, dehydration. And dehydration first causes thirst, then lightheadedness, and then dizziness. So that these things, lightheaded, dizziness, and thirst are because of dehydration. 
right then second thing what alcohol does is it triggers a inflammatory response from your own immune system so your immune system can actually cause symptoms in response to alcohol your immune system actually produces certain chemicals agents that commonly produce physical symptoms like inability to concentrate memory problems decreased appetite loss of interest in the usual activities all these things also happen when you are ill when you are not well so alcohol actually produces a similar inflammatory response from your immune system and this varies in individuals some people have a huge response some people have no response at all in this way the third thing which alcohol does alcohol irritates your lining of your stomach your esophagus everything so alcohol causes this issue so al alcohol also increases the production of stomach acid and delays stomach emptying because of all these things it can lead to abdominal pain nausea and vomiting then alcohol can actually decrease your blood sugar levels if your blood sugar dips too low you may experience fatigue weakness shakiness mood disturbances and even seizures convulsions right then alcohol causes your blood vessels to expand this can lead to headaches alcohol makes you sleepy it can make you sleepy but it prevents deep stages of sleep therefore it often causes awakening in the middle of the night and this can leave you tired and groggy so you will feel tired all the time and that's why because of all these five six things which alcohol does hangover happens some people are more sensitive some people are less sensitive some people become more to less sensitive over a period of time but because of all these things hangover happens then one more thing is there these things are called congeners alcoholic beverages contain this ingredient which gives many type of alcoholic beverages their flavor and this congener can actually contribute to hangovers these are found in large amounts in uh, dark liquors brandy bourbon and some clear liquors also have these things in less amounts like vodka gin these congeners are more likely to produce hangovers or increase the severity of hangovers then who has a risk factor who will develop hangover anyone who drinks alcohol can experience a hangover but why some people are more susceptible than others first is your genetic genetic variations can occur and affects the way alcohol is metabolized in your body and therefore some people can flush sweat become ill after drinking even a simple small amount of alcohol also right and that's why some of the medicines can react because many medicines have up to 10 20 30% alcohol right so that's why some of the medications can also have side effects even uh, allopathic homeopathic other medications might have alcohol right then many factors actually make hangover more likely in your case or if you have hangover these factors can make it more severe right for example if you drink on an empty stomach having no food in your stomach speeds up the body's alcohol absorption and your liver can only handle one drink per hour right so if your absorption is fast then you will have a hangover you will have an issue the second factor is using other drugs such as nicotine smoking along with alcohol smoking combined with this alcohol appears to increase the likelihood of next day misery third factor is not sleeping well or long enough after drinking research has shown that hangovers are partly because of poor quality and short sleep cycle that typically follows a night of drinking right then fourth factor is having a family history of alcoholism yes having a close relative with a history of 
strong history of alcoholism can suggest an inherited problem in the way your body processes alcohol right then a last factor is drinking darker colored alcohol beverages darker colored alcohol often contains high volume of congeners right as compared to light color so dark colors alcohol are more likely to give you hangovers and these hangovers may lead to complications right you are more likely to have memory problem concentration problem leading to absentees trouble completing tasks conflicts with others at work falling asleep at school or on the job right sometimes it can lead to injuries at the workplace so hangovers are not good nobody likes hangovers so is there any way to prevent hangovers and there are many over the counter pills medications tablets which claim that they can prevent hangovers but do they actually not the only guaranteed way to prevent a hangover is to avoid alcohol if you choose to drink do so in moderation so that's the thing moderate alcohol use for a healthy adult means up to one drink per day for women of all ages and for men more than 65 years so if you are more than 65 years or if you are a woman one drink per day is moderate alcohol use safe limit and up to two drinks two drinks per day if you are a man young man less than 60 years of age 60 65 like the less you drink the less likely you are to have a hangover and there are some tricks you can eat before and while drinking alcohol is absorbed more quickly if your stomach is empty and it may help to eat something before and during alcohol intake that will slow down the absorption then choose carefully beverages with fewer congeners are slightly less likely to cause hangovers therefore if you can avoid dark colored beverages that would be better then you can sip water in between the drinks drinking a full glass of water after each alcohol drink will help you stay hydrated it is also helpful if you actually drink less alcohol diluted all these things actually matter then you need to know your limits and only drink in moderation decide ahead you can decide ahead of time how many drinks you will have and stick to it don't feel pressured to drink more and take it slow avoid having more than one alcohol drink in an hour right because your body your liver can metabolize one alcohol drink in an hour stop drinking completely when you reached your limit right or even before if you feel like that some people take over the counter pain relievers such as aspirin and brufen to prevent hangover symptoms but you should not do that because they may not be safe for you and you need to consult your doctor what kind of medication and what dosage is best for you as per your condition right then and certain medications like paracetamol exactly the most commonly used medicine paracetamol tylenol acetaminophen aspirin brufen these can actually cause liver damage if you take too much alcohol plus this medications together right so beware of all these things drink responsibly or stop drinking if you can right and make sure to drink in moderation one drink per day if you are a woman two drinks per day if you are a man and this is the list these are this is a chart of what one drink means so hope this video is helpful if it is then please do share this video with every single one you know and don't forget to hit the bell icon when you subscribe give me a thumbs up like the video and share your views down below in the comment section i am dr paranjit i am a consultant physician and cardiologist in yashoda super specialty hospital nehru nagar delhi ncr and this is my channel this is your channel please help me promote this channel as much as you can and i'll see you tomorrow same time same place stay connected stay healthy